Welcome to Take Two, the podcast with the Rock 95 morning crew. Craig, Brian, and MJ. How are you guys doing? We're great. Great. Excellent. Uh, we'll do another bonus opportunity to get in the birthday bash a little later on. How's that sound? I like that. Another uh, another clue. Mm, I like being in the know. Yeah? Yeah. I was always left out as a kid, so I like being in the know. <laughs> Well, you can leave the room when we give the clue. How's no! that? Oh, come on. <laughs> Just like old times for MJ. So that'll be happening a little bit later on. We'll give you a clue on what you need to listen for Monday morning with the Rock 95 Morning Crew at Rock 95 to get you into the biggest party of the year, the birthday bash. So uh, that we did that last couple of weeks, and it's been fun. So why not keep up with tradition? For and sure. reward the podcast listeners here at Take Two, uh, which is a special edition of Take Two. We're going to do the mailbag edition. Which means we're going to open up the emails that we got and uh, and read some of them because we always get flooded with questions and comments and stuff. Uh, you can email us anything you want for an addition, a future edition of the mailbag edition of uh, Take Two Morning Crew at Rock ninety five dot com, and we'll go through some of these questions and you guys give us your honest uh, answers. All right? Do we have to? No, I'm uh, you, can, you can lie too. I don't care. Yeah, that's right. Uh, when you were a teenager, what did you want to become? Each one of you. What the what, MJ? Oh what you, yeah, I wanted to be an actress. Oh, I wanted to be one an of actor. Those. Oh, yeah, I was in. I was in drama. I was good at it. Really? I was really good at it. Why did you? Drama. Why did you bow out of that? Um, I don't know, man. It's they need you to be like super slim and stuff, and I just didn't have the Boy, drive for it. That's, you're opening here. up a can of worms yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about how maybe you weren't that good at it, but anyway. I just kind of fell by the wayside. What, what do you do? I don't uh, know. I just uh, didn't go into acting school or anything like that. I think that. most people want to be that because they want to be f- famous, right? Yeah. yeah. Like I, when I went to I mo- actually legit just liked to act. Right. <laughs> you drugs. don't have it, girl. <laughs> You're never going to make it in this town with hips like that, lady. <laughs> Brian, did you have an ambition? Yeah, I just thought to be a millionaire would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit simpler than and, hers. And, 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 and didn't you do that, Brian? Yeah, well, it's a lifelong pursuit, I think. Exactly. At this point. You're still working on yeah. it. Yeah. When I was uh, went to see my uh, son graduate, uh, I think it was, uh, they had their kindergarten graduation or whatever, right? Aww. But you always ask, what do you want to do mm-hmm. and, and when you grow up? And they all wanted to be superstars. I'm like, what is that? What do you apply to be a superstar? I know. Is there a resume for that? You know what's sad? <laughs> my daughter keeps saying, I want to be a YouTuber when I'm a teenager. No, you won't. <laughs> oh. You will not. <laughs> I know. It's funny. They had that, which is a huge dream and a big dream. And then somebody who has like a more realistic thing like I want to butter toast and you go that guy's got it figured out <laughs> <laughs> like it's something so basic eh he's good uh, did any of you have nasty nicknames for your teachers growing up oh no I didn't I was kind of nice to my teachers even though my teachers hated me I should have thought of some nicknames no, we, yeah. we didn't. I feel like all kinds of teachers, for whatever reason, just their name suited them, whether they were a jerk or not. They just <laughs> that was, sure. felt like it. Yeah. I, I can't think of one right now, but my son actually, so him and his friends have a teacher at the moment that they don't particularly love, I okay. guess. They don't hate her, but they don't love her. And her name is easy to sort of make fun of. And I, I'll admit, I've even with done stuff? it. Rhymes yeah. with stuff? Oh, rhyme. okay. It rhymes with things. So he'll come home and tell me a story about her, but I have my own name for her, and I've never met this poor lady. I'm sure she's totally Jeez. lovely. But I'll be like, oh, how misses? And I'm not going to say it because it's rude. And my son's uh-huh. like, yeah, she's fine. Like, yeah. all right. Uh, doesn't, doesn't, happen, it doesn't happen to be the drama teacher, does it? No, no, no. Not yeah. the drama Good, teacher. Good, Totally different. Did you have... Did you have the talk saying don't call your teacher that? I said you have to be careful and it's not super rude but it's not great I'm like be careful not to accidentally call her that in school my love because I don't well, want to that's good parenting yeah, <laughs> be respectful <laughs> you could call her that but behind your back yeah, that's, that's what you want uh, hey here's one from a story we talked about uh, a couple weeks ago when your when your husband was watching her your mo- her mom's bird oh my gosh yeah, the bird yeah. yes that's right. and you said you have to come clean because what right. had happened was they let the bird out of the the basement, right? Yeah, the bird flew out of the this room that it right. normally stays in, which wouldn't have been a big deal except it kept on hitting the wall constantly, right. <laughs> and then it fell to the ground. And then my husband shoes it back into the room with a broom because uh, he refuses to touch it. And uh, yeah, so you wanted to know if you wanted to come clean to your in law there, and and somebody said when it comes to your husband uh, and he, how he almost killed. Your mom's bird, uh, have to come clean. There's no way she's not going to find out. Now, there's been a few weeks since then. Has she found out? She knows. Ah. Uh, She knows. Yeah. Yeah. My my husband broke down and he told her. And she was just like, poor lad. 
Lex. He's like, poor Lex, poor me. I had to chase this thing. I think the bird is okay. Your and husband you broke think? down, huh? Yeah. He you didn't follow down. up? No, I Now just... that the cat's out of the bag, you didn't go, so Look, man, has he I been got, acting I, funny? I, 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 got not, I did, however, tell her that we talked about this on the show, and she would like to, you know, come on the show and, like, defend her bird. I'm like, oh, okay, uh, well, okay. no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the bird's fine. He's okay. <laughs> we'll have the bird on the show. Get his perspective, right? <laughs> All right, we'll get more of your uh, texts coming up, your uh, emails, if you will. Morning crew at rock95.com as we continue with Take Two. That's on the way. Plus, a bonus opportunity to get in the birthday bash. We'll reveal that in a moment. Take two. Podcast with the Rock 95 morning crew. We're doing the mailbag edition. But before we do that, let's reveal our little clue on how to get into the birthday bash. Yeah, these are good clues. These are good clues. Because coming up on Monday, so that'll be October 21st, you want to be listening to the Rock 95 morning crew coming up at 810. All right? And you want to listen to Hotel California with the Eagles. Why do you want to hear the Eagles? Well. Because we're sending people to see the Eagles. In Vegas at Sphere. Sphere. Yes. So you're listening for that, and if you're the first caller through when you hear that at 721 Rock, you'll be going to the birthday bash. That's right. All you got to do is tell us why you're calling at that time. It's easy. Yeah, we, we egg it out of you eventually. Yeah. Don't just say, hey, what's up? Be like, hey. Yeah. I'm calling because... Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to keep it a secret at that point. No. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know, and uh, yeah, call us 810 Monday morning, the 21st of October with the Rock 95 Morning Crew. You're listening for the Eagles Hotel California. It's a mailbag edition of Take Two, so we're just going through some of the emails that we got because we're getting a lot of questions here. Hey, guys, have you ever told your boss off? Oh, my gosh. And what did you say? Uh, uh, no, I'd love to. Not this boss. This boss is fine. Uh, but there's careful, been, Craig. There's been bosses I really wanted to tell. Them. Yeah, no, I, I wish I could say I did. I didn't. Yeah. I always had things. Even now, thinking about things that happened in my past, I'm like, man, I, I wish I said this to them. And What about even like, like a you. superior? Not a boss, just someone above you. I did one time tell my district manager when I was working in retail how a customer had just come into the store and they were at the other end of the store and she was just like, hey, MJ. And she like points, you know, does the head nod to the customer. I'm like, I'm getting over there. I can't beam myself over. (laughs) 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 And she's like, oh, you. And she walked off. I'm like, him. That's as sassy as you got, huh? Yeah. (laughs) That's pretty much it. That's a little bit. I know Craig knows that I I have this story where I said something to the guy that I was the vehicle with, and he ended up throwing the coffee. At oh, me. was that a boss? <gasps> well, he was a superior in a oh, way. Wow. Oh wow, he that's was like cool. the foreman. Oh, this story is so stupid. He was bringing up all this sports stuff, and I didn't care. And he was like egging me on because we <laughs> cheered for two different teams. And then, um, and then, yeah, it got so heated. He ended up throwing a coffee at me. <laughs> So in a truck, just like and it a... went everywhere. Was it hot? It was not hot, thank God. Oh. It was a cold coffee, and uh, we were landscaping. And uh, I just got out of the truck, and I went, "I'm not doing anything," and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's like something you'd see in a movie. Uh, I didn't know anything. Craig loves yeah. that story. I do love Did that he story. Apologize? Did he? No. Yeah. No. No. No, that like, was the last day we worked together. Was he just like, take it like a man? <laughs> no. <laughs> Over we, sports. We didn't speak. Oh, Over sports. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was when Mike Babcock left the Detroit Red Wings and went to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Ooh. She always associates And we know how that story ended. <laughs> <don't we? laughs> so take your coffee. Suck it, pal. <laughs> uh, what's the worst spill to get off the couch? Mm. My uh, my son spilt uh, a whole thing of grape juice on the couch. Ooh, not, not me, not me. This is from the uh, the email. Juice. But grape juice. That might I think that, juice. that would be it. That might as well be <laughs> red wine when you're a kid, right? Grape oh. juice. Be careful. Yeah. I don't know about that. My daughter routinely. Uh, spills pickle juice on the couch. Oh, because well, she stank loves to her it. pickles, so she give I give her pickles in a bowl, and then she needs the pickle juice in there too. And I had actually just recently cleaned the cushions, like I pulled them off the covers and everything, washed them, 
12 hours later, giant spill of pickle juice again. <laughs> well, that nice, on. briny, garlicy she, smell. She loves pickles, and yeah. I, I like pickles. Yeah. I, I never take a pickle out and need some of the juice. Oh, she loves the juice. <laughs> no, so no. what, is she so drinking she, the juice afterwards? Yeah, you, you put the pickle in a bowl for her, and then she wants some of the pickle juice in there, so after she's done with the pickle, she takes a spoon and slurps the juice in the soup. Not everybody's doing that. <laughs> Just like, you, know, you ever heard of that, crack? I've never heard of that. Kids Jeez. love pickles. Kids Jeez. love pickles. Yeah. And, and, and that briny goodness, I, I, I get it, I get it, and as a result she's never dehydrated because it's good for your hydration <laughs> and then when she is dehydrated it's on the couch it's on the couch yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah i knew uh somebody that wouldn't let their kids snack at all in the house so they would okay. send them outside <laughs> no in a, in a lawn chair with a tea towel to eat their food okay that's oh, a problem though that's wow. that's a that's a that's a bit of a mental it's pretty disorder it, it's, have. A, it's hilarious <laughs> It was a little bit of a sideshow. Like, Every oh, day is El Fresco. There's little Susie <laughs> sitting on the lawn. Listen to Craig, Brian, and MJ, the Rock 95 Morning Crew, on Barry's Rock Station, Rock 95.